the woman I'm going to marry, I have to make it right. I'm out with us. <laughs> Christine, honey, it's me. Go away. Oh, come on, Christine, I want to talk to you. Why don't you hold a press conference and tell me when it's going to be on? <laughs> now, come on, I know I made a big mistake, but I was just trying to help you over some rough times. If I go away, how can I help you? Hey, if it's going to make you feel better, you know, uh, I guess I'll leave. Good. Leave. I'm not okay. leaving. Christine, come on, you got to hear me out. No. You hear me out. You humiliated me on live television. My face was green. My hands were green. I was wearing your sweatpants. And I was retaining a lot of water. <laughs> what were you thinking? Where did you even get such a, an insensitive, misguided, half-assed idea? Luther? Oh. Come on. I have a key, Christine! <laughs> Look, come on, I'm not going to leave. I can't stand to see us this way. Christine, look, I know. I, I'm really sorry that whole TV thing backfired. I mean, how the heck did I know when that TV crew got there that you wouldn't look as terrific as you used to? Would you like to rephrase that? I'd give my left arm to. <laughs> Let's just, uh... Let's just put the public humiliation aside for just a second. Did it ever occur to you that setting our wedding date was a big occasion? Maybe something that I'd like to do privately, perhaps over a dinner, just the two of us? But, honey, you don't eat anymore, remember? <laughs> I mean, I was just trying to do something big to cheer you up. Oh, so now you're marrying me just to cheer me up. Oh, it's not like that, Christine. I swear I never do anything to cheer you up. Oh, no. Yeah. Then why now? Why set the date when I'm just a, a jar of plums away from the funny farm? I never would have asked you to get married if I wasn't ready, and living with you all summer has made me ready. Oh, come on. I've been a monster all summer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you think I'd be headed for the hills, but listen, when I came home to the cabin tonight and, and you weren't there, I felt like I got kicked in the gut, Christine. I mean... It's been months since I came home to an empty house, you know? There wasn't even one of those little notes that said, gone for jars. <laughs> uh, I don't want to come home to an empty house ever again. Christine, I love you. I want you to be my wife. So, you really want to get married? You, you're not just doing this because I, I'm miserable. No, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. If you're miserable, I want to be miserable with you. I want us to be miserable together. <laughs> That's how I know in my heart we're ready for marriage. That one I know I said right. <laughs> Honey, come on, you're not going to flip out on me, are you? You know what? I think I just fell in love with you all over again. You're ready to marry me? Yes. I'm ready. Oh, I hate it. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're really getting married. 